And hi, my name is Sarah, and in today's episode of Cooking with Kids, we're going to be making a cherry tomato and basil bruschetta. This recipe is really quick to make, uses simple ingredients, and really highlights the sweetness of the cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are small, sweet, and one of my favorite fruits um, growing this summer. Since it's the height of tomato season, we're going to go over to Silicratia Farm and see how tomatoes grow. Let's go visit! Hey, we're here at Solo Grazia Farm with Farmer John, and it's a local farm here in Urbana. Solo Grazia Farm is a nonprofit farm that donates a lot of its food to our local food bank, soup kitchens, and families in need. Did you know that foods belong to different families? Tomatoes are a part of the nightshade family and are related to eggplant, peppers, and potatoes. There are thousands of different types of tomatoes, and they're all used for different kinds. Cherry tomatoes are super sweet and they're great for snacking and eating fresh. Roma tomatoes are recommended for sauces because they're meatier and they have fewer seeds. Large tomatoes are great on sandwiches, awesome roasted, and are super flavorful. Less ripe green tomatoes are tart, high in pectin, and great for making into salsas or frying. Tomatoes contain a special nutrient and antioxidant called lycopene. Lycopene gives the fruit its rich, bright red color and helps protect the fruit from the sun. It's thought that lycopene can also help protect our skin in the summer sun. Where do tomatoes come from? North America! Tomatoes have been cultivated since 500 BC by the Aztecs and other indigenous peoples. The word tomato is derived from the Nahuatl word tomatin. Nitrates have been around for a really long time. Recently, a scientist in Patagonia stumbled across a fossilized tomatillo that dates back 52 million years. Tomatoes are great climbers and they can grow more than 20 feet. Are you hungry? Let's go back to the kitchen and get started. Now that we're back, let's make the cherry tomato basil bruschetta. Here's what you're going to need. Local cherry tomatoes from Sola Grazia Farm. Local sweet basil. A clove of garlic. A local baguette from Central Illinois Bakehouse. A splash of balsamic vinegar an eighth cup of olive oil, a little salt, and pepper. Preheat your oven to 425. Slice the baguette up with a bread knife or any serrated knife. I like to cut the baguette at an angle. You'll need a baking sheet uh, for toasting the baguette. Brushing the olive oil is a great way to incorporate your kid. Once, it, once your oven is preheated, bake in the oven until your slices are crispy. Using a small knife or serrated knife, you're going to want to cut your tomatoes into quarters. Once all your tomatoes are sliced up, we're going to add a pinch of salt, some cracked pepper, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and some sliced basil. Then we're going to crack some black pepper. Next we're going to add a splash of olive oil, like a couple of tablespoons. do a little drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Then we're going to stir it all together. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to slice up some of our basil. One of the tricks I like to do is trim the leaf off the stem and stack the leaves together. Once you have your basil leaves stacked, we're just going to slice them thinly with a serrated knife. Then we're going to add all of our basil into our tomatoes. And then we'll stir it together. 
Once your bread is nice and crispy out of the oven, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one clove of garlic and we're gonna rub it on the sliced bread. Adding the garlic like this will leave a hint of garlic without being too overpowering. It will make your hands smell like garlic. You can smell them now. Smell them now. The last step is going to be putting our tomato mixture on each slice of our toasted baguette. We hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.